All right, folks, gather round. We've got something intriguing to discuss today. Today we're diving into the wild world of British politics, but with a twist. No, don't worry, I haven't lost my mind completely. We're not just talking about the usual political drama, we're talking about Keir Starmer, the leader of the Labour Party, and his grand plans to turn the UK into an AI superpower. Yes, you heard that right, AI superpower. Yes, you heard that right. The same Keir Starmer who was once known for, well, being a bit boring, is now all about robots, algorithms, and the future of tech. The same Keir Starmer, who was once known for, well, being a bit boring, is now all about robots, algorithms and the future of tech. He's been spotted with tech gurus, talking up investment and even promising new laws to boost AI. He's been spotted with tech gurus, talking up investment and even promising new laws to boost AI. But hold on a second. But hold on a second. Is this just another politician making big promises? Can Starmer really pull this off? Is this just another politician making big promises? Can Starmer really pull this off? And more importantly, will someone please explain to him what a blockchain is? Can Starmer really pull this off? And more importantly, will someone please explain to him what a blockchain is? Stay tuned, because we're about to break it all down. And more importantly, will someone please explain to him what a blockchain is? Stay tuned, because we're about to break it all down. Stay tuned, because we're about to break it all down. We'll explore whether Keir Starmer's tech ambitions are grounded in reality, or if they're just another set of lofty political promises. We'll look at his past, his present, and what experts are saying about his future in the tech world. So grab your popcorn, because this is going to be an interesting ride through the intersection of politics and technology. Let's get started. So picture this. Keir Starmer, suited and booted, sharing the stage with none other than Eric Schmidt, the former CEO of Google. It's like watching your dad try to explain TikTok, but with slightly higher stakes. This was the scene at a recent investment summit where Starmer rolled out his AI vision. He basically said, hey world, the UK is open for business when it comes to AI. He promised less red tape, more funding, and a government that actually understands how the internet works. A low bar, I know. Schmidt, for his part, seemed cautiously optimistic. He probably figured any country that can produce both Adele and Benedict Cumberbatch can't be all bad. But will this tech bromance be enough to convince investors? Now, I know what you're thinking. Trevor, haven't we heard this all before? And you wouldn't be wrong. The UK government has a bit of a reputation for talking big on tech, but then tripping over its own shoelaces when it comes to actually doing something. Remember that time they promised super-fast broadband to every corner of the kingdom? Yeah, neither do the people living in the Scottish Highlands. So, there's a healthy dose of scepticism about Starmer's AI ambitions, especially from the tech industry. Labour hasn't exactly been clear on its AI stance in the past. They've flip-flopped more than a pancake on Shrove Tuesday. But this time, Starmer insists it's different. This time, they're serious. This time, they have a plan. Section 4. Robots taking your jobs. Just kidding, maybe. So what exactly is in this magical AI plan? Well, Starmer is promising a new law to regulate AI. But don't panic just yet. He's not talking about banning killer robots. Though, let's be honest, that would be pretty cool. Instead, he wants to create a framework for AI development that's both ethical and business-friendly. Think of it like guardrails for the AI superhighway, preventing any rogue algorithms from veering off and causing chaos. He also wants to pour more money into AI research and development, hoping to turn the UK into a global leader in everything from self-driving cars to personalised healthcare. 
Section 5. Making the UK Great Again, with AI this time. Now, Starmer knows that talking about AI in the abstract is all well and good, but people want to know how it will affect their lives. So, he's been busy explaining how AI can boost the economy, create jobs, and improve public services. He's even gone so far as to say that AI could help solve the UK's productivity crisis, which is a bit like saying a new vacuum cleaner will fix your crumbling house. But hey, a politician can dream, right? More concretely, Starmer is promising to use AI to improve healthcare education and transportation. I think AI-powered cancer diagnosis personalised learning plans and traffic lights that actually make sense. Section 6. Brussels versus Britain. The AI Battle Royale. In this chapter, we dive deep into the ongoing tug of war between the UK and the EU over the future of artificial intelligence. It's a high stakes game with significant implications for the tech industry on both sides of the channel. Now, you can't talk about AI in the UK without mentioning the elephant in the room. Brexit. The UK's departure from the EU has created a complex web of challenges and opportunities, especially in the realm of technology and artificial intelligence. Yes, that messy divorce is still causing headaches for everyone involved, and AI is no exception. The separation has led to a myriad of regulatory and operational hurdles that tech companies must navigate. From data sharing agreements to talent mobility, the landscape is fraught with obstacles. You see, the EU has been busy drawing up its own AI regulations, aiming to create a framework that ensures ethical and responsible AI development. These regulations are designed to protect consumers and maintain high standards of data privacy and security. However, these regulations are about as popular with the tech industry as a root canal. Many in the tech sector argue that the EU's approach is overly bureaucratic, stifling innovation and creating unnecessary red tape that hampers progress. They're seen as overly bureaucratic, stifling innovation and generally being a pain in the algorithm. The stringent rules and compliance requirements are viewed as obstacles that could slow down the rapid pace of AI advancements. Starmer sees this as an opportunity. He believes that the UK's more flexible regulatory environment could attract AI companies looking for a more conducive setting to innovate and grow. He's betting that the UK can become a haven for AI companies fleeing the EU's regulatory clutches. By offering a more business-friendly atmosphere, the UK aims to position itself as a global leader in AI development and deployment. Think of it like a tech version of Casablanca, but with fewer trench coats and more lines of code. The UK envisions a thriving ecosystem where innovation flourishes and AI companies can push the boundaries of what's possible without being bogged down by excessive regulations. Section 7. So, is the UK about to become Silicon Valley 2.0? So, there you have it. The UK is making bold moves in the tech world, aiming to become a global leader in artificial intelligence and innovation. Keir Starmer's grand vision for AI in the UK is ambitious and forward-thinking. He envisions a future where the UK is not just a player, but a powerhouse in the AI industry. But the big question is, will it work? Can the UK really transform itself into a tech giant, rivaling the likes of Silicon Valley? Can he really turn the UK into an AI superpower, a hub of innovation and technological advancement? Or will it all end in tears, frustration and unmet expectations? The road to becoming a tech superpower is fraught with challenges. Will we see groundbreaking advancements or just a bunch of robots flipping burgers? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, this is a story worth watching. The UK's journey towards becoming a tech leader is filled with potential and uncertainty. After all, 
if a country known for its rainy weather and lukewarm beer can become a leader in artificial intelligence, then anything is possible. The transformation could redefine the UK's global standing. What do you think of Starmer's AI plans? Do you believe in the vision of a tech-driven future for the UK? Are you feeling optimistic, sceptical or just plain confused? The opinions are as diverse as the people who hold them. Let us know in the comments below. Your thoughts and insights are crucial as we navigate this exciting yet uncertain journey towards a tech-centric future.